In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to show you my favorite scheme for inside the five-yard line in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, uh, my channel focuses in on Madden 21 tips and tricks that are designed to give you some food to chew on, some thought, um, some material uh, that you could really use and apply to your own game. Now, uh, what I'm going to be showing you today is out of our Arizona Cardinals offensive guide. So if you like this formation, we actually have an entire ebook that goes through and breaks down the air raid offense from the Arizona Cardinals playbook and it's we've got over 125 pages it gives you one play touchdowns against pretty much any defense that you can face it's going to show you uh, really how to read the defense and turn yourself into someone that really can pass with the best of the passers in the game and so if you want to get access to that ebook all you got to do is click the link in the description it'll take you to um, it'll take you to the checkout page and you can pick that up a lot of people have really appreciated that guide and have really impressed improved from that guide one of the guys that actually improved said um, he's actually gone to the top 100 um, online with this guide another guy won his online cfm another guy sent me a message and let me know that it's probably the best 25 dollars that he's ever spent on madden now this is a full guide it comes with both my arizona arnold cardinals offense as well as my 46 uh, playbook defensively so if you want to pick it up if you really want to compete and want to get better i would highly highly recommend you pick up that guide but what we want to do here today is show you a concept. Now, a lot of pro players have been doing this, and we've actually, I think we actually broke this down in the guide uh, back in August when we first wrote it. But met with Madden 21, there are um, unique personnel groupings, meaning if you notice what I can do here, if I come out in this play, you'll notice, like, let's just say I come out and the gun doubles off, and I come out in the play uh, fake jet halfback C, Okay. If I try to audible, it's going to make me audible to other formations that have the same personnel. As you can see, I'm going to be able to go to all these three wide receiver, one running back, and one tight end personnel sets. Okay? Now, with goal line, it's the same kind of thing. Um, the goal line personnel set is two running backs, right? Two running backs. So we would have Aaron Jones, and then we'd probably have a fullback, right? Two running backs, three tight ends. So if I come out in goal line QB sneak, you'll notice that I can only audible to go line because of that's the only formation in the Arizona Cardinals playbook that has that specific personnel, personnel-based audibling. What we're going to do is we're actually going to, um, and what you can do with this is you can audible down, meaning you could come out in, uh, and you see a lot of pro players do this, right? They'll come out in a, in a passing formation like the doubles, but they'll put a running back in the slot. And then they can audible down to I-form pro or I-form close or strong close or any of those plays. Very popular out of the Raiders book. What we're going to do is we're actually going to be able to audible down into goal line with this um, tip. Okay. So all we're going to do is on our outside wide receivers, we're going to turn them into tight ends. So uh, with the Packers, they don't necessarily have the best tight ends. But you can, you can kind of make do, right? This is a goal line play. We're not going to be passing the ball a bunch. And the players that we're going to pass the ball to are going to be very specific. So we have tight ends on the outside. This slot right here, he's actually going to get some touches. He's going to get some passes, maybe some runs. So we're going to put Tyler Urban there. He has 91 speed. I would put your fastest guy right there. In the backfield, I would put your, your bruising back, whoever that is. Maybe it's Mike Allstott. Maybe it's Barry Sanders even. Maybe it's Bo Jackson. Um, on, in regs, maybe it's Leonard Fournette. Maybe it's Le'Veon Bell, right? But your fastest back is going to go in the slot, and then your power back is going to go in the backfield, okay? And then if you have, um, if you're playing a franchise mode, you'd want to sub in your backup quarterback if they have injuries on because you don't want any injuries on this play. But Aaron Rodgers does just fine for me, especially if the injuries are turned off. Um, if I'm in mutt, I like to sub in Michael Vick into this position, or I like to sub in Lamar Jackson uh, to this position, or maybe even the new Kyler Murray. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to come out, and we're going to set these audibles really quickly. The audibles we've set here are zone fake jet, read option, jet touch pass, and fake jet pass power. On the goal line set, which is what we're going to audible into, we've set the power O, the fullback dive, the halfback sting, and the halfback dive. Now, if you don't want to put the halfback sting in there, I actually highly recommend the halfback split O. I don't think I think that run does a good job of not getting shot in the backfield, and so it's a very good little running play to mix in. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to come out in a passing play. Um, you can come out in anything that you really want from this formation because all of your primary plays are going to be saved. 
but I like to come out and fake jet halfback seam because that route that the halfback is on is a seam will. And if they are not in man-to-man -man coverage on the running back, that's going to be wide open. Now, if they are in man-to-man -man coverage, obviously we're going to need to do something else. Um, the one issue with that play is you can't really hot route anything. So, you know, if we read man-to-man -man coverage, we're probably not going to pass the ball. Another play that is actually really good is the sail um, down in the red zone. You, get, you see you get the table route, you get the button hook on the left, you get a nice deep in route that's going to come open across the formation. So you can kind of do both. If you think man coverage is what they're going to call, I'd go with sail. If you think zone coverage is what they're going to call, I would go with this fake jet halfback seam because it looks exactly the same as everything else we're going to be doing from this formation. Okay? So the first play and the most important play is the fake jet halfback power. Now, literally, all you're going to do is once you snap the ball with your quarterback, once you get once you get the ball, you're going to truck forward. Literally, just truck forward, and you'll be surprised at how many times you'll get that inch or that yard that you want on the goal line. Now, here I've got myself back to try to get a two-point conversion. And you'll notice if you don't truck, obviously, you can have a lot of room. Now, here's the deal with this. This run is very difficult to shoot. It's very difficult to stop in the backfield. What I want you to know about this specific run is you can actually cut this run to the left side. So if I just kind of pause, um, and, and what I mean by pause is I'm going to hit back on the left joystick. And by hitting back on the left joystick, what that's going to do with Aaron Rodgers it's going to kind of freeze him in the backfield. Like I said, this is a very difficult run to shoot. So if I just kind of pause right here, and I didn't get it right there, but if I kind of, again, do almost like a almost like a stop and go before I even go, right? Um, but essentially, it's just this little basic pause and then go. You'll see you can oftentimes get one-on-one -on -one matchups, able to truck in and get in the end zone. Now let's say that they're let's say that they uh, are, are playing more of a they're trying to really pinch the defense and they're trying really to not give that up. You can go to the jet touch pass. Now when you run the jet touch pass, there are two things you need to understand. First and foremost, you need to ID the play side defensive tackle. Secondly, you need to um, when you do this, make sure that when you make sure that when you're um, right before you snap the ball, you hit the circle button and you get on the icon of the right tackle. Okay. By doing that, that's going to help with the blocking of this play. And I actually like to ID, or whoops, I'm sorry, ID that nose tackle. And then as you can see here, I'm, I've am i hit circle, right? I've hit circle, and then I'm going to use the left, I'm going to hold circle and hit the left joystick to move the circle button to whoever I want to be on. I want to be on the tackle, okay? And what you'll notice with this jet touch pass, this will give you better blocking on the edge, and oftentimes you're going to be able to swoop right in here with, with Tyler Irvin. They can't shoot that. What they're going to do with their user, though, and I just want to show this to you really quickly, uh, what they're going to do with their user is they're going to do something like this. They're going to take their user, and I'm just to, just to mimic this, I'm going to put them in a hard flat, and I'm going to pass commit. But basically what they're going to do is they're going to shoot out to the outside. If you see them shoot out to the outside when you're running the jet touch pass, do not run the ball outside. It's not worth it. What I want you to do is I want you to double juke as soon as you get the ball. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flick the right stick to the right, and then I'm going to basically flick the left stick back to the left and cut him up right down the middle of the field. You'll notice right here, watch what happens. He's going to shoot. The middle's wide open. I'm going to cut right up there. See that right there? See how that works? That's a very, very good little concept um, that you can utilize from this formation. Very, very, very good. I've, I cannot tell you how many touchdowns that I have consistently scored on people with this little running scheme right here. I saw a double juke right there, and I didn't quite get it what I was looking for. Um, another thing that you can do on this is you can actually um, stop and go on the jet touch pass, which is really, rich, really, really cool. Basically, again, just going to hold that left joystick to the left, get him to stop, and then I can kind of turn him around. Now, in game, this works a little bit better because you have, a, I think you have a little bit more control over the players in game mode than you do in practice mode. But like I said, make sure that you're make sure that you're IDing here. Make sure that you're clicked onto the tackle, and then at the snap of the ball, what you'll notice is again just kind of, and again it's not quite working the way that it would work in a game, but you kind of want to stop him and go. And again, um, with this play, what you'll notice is it's very deceptive, right? You can you can run really any direction, and you see here I could just jet him all the way out to the outside if I wanted to uh, very, very easily within this play and get a pretty good gain uh, typically.
So I'll go jet touch pass one more time to show you this. But again, if I just kind of swoop out, and when you run it to the outside, you want to swoop out behind your running back. You don't want to be leading. You want that running back to be able to make that block on the user. Okay? The next play that I like, and this is when they start to sell out, right? When they start to sell out to the right run. Maybe they shift everybody to the right or something like that. Run this fake jet pass uh, halfback zone play. I think that's what it's called. Zone fake jet. And uh, what you'll notice is the defense will go with this guy, and you can run right underneath it. Now, when you run right underneath it, obviously this is not the best blocking. This is this is something that you're going to go to if you see them start to shift. The key is they need to shift. So maybe they shift to the right. You know, they do some stuff like that. What I like to do is I like to get onto the tackle right here. Again, I think that's the key block. So I'm going to click onto the tackle and go. And basically, you'll notice that you can get pretty good animations with that back in the backfield. Um, you, you typically, it's, a, it's basically an inside zone. That's all it is. Um, it just looks exactly like that that uh, touch pass and QB power. Now, another thing that you can do, I want to show you this really quick. I didn't get it right there, but I want to show you one other thing you can do. So, like, let's say they're uh, again, let's say they're shifting everybody to the right. Maybe they base a lot. Maybe they're maybe they're doing something like this, right? Um, let me make sure that we're showing blitz and doing all the things that people are going to do in the red zone on you. Now, if I go to this zone fake jet, what there's going to be a window of opportunity. And what I can do is I can actually, and the biggest thing is shaking off that slot corner. That's the biggest thing with this run um, that you're going to need to worry about. Because the slot corner is going to kind of sit right where he's supposed to sit. Now, most of the time, they'll actually, you know, they'll do something like this. They'll bring the safety down. You know, again, they'll be shifting everybody. They're, they're trying to prevent the, the, the jet touch pass or the fake jet because it's such a powerful combination. Well, then you go to something like this. And that's what I'm looking at right there. And you can truck right up the middle of that of that run play. If they over pursue to the jet touch pass, then, then you can go to something like this zone fake jet. Another thing you can do is once you get the ball with your running back, you can actually double juke him to the outside and this will actually be very very effective um, for for beating this another thing you could do again and i'm just talking about using the double juke as different methods for when you can really take advantage so you could actually double juke left and right and get that one cut right up the middle of the field and power it in for a touchdown it's a very very effective red zone strategy now the last thing i want to or a couple more things i want to show you first is this read option um, this read option is really good and essentially, this is going to be a quick snap, right? They're going to be expecting all the other things that you're going to be able to do from this. And then you just go read option, and you're right in the middle. You're, you're going to be scoring touchdowns with this thing. I guarantee it. Now, the next thing that you're going to see here out of this read option, uh, let me show you what's going to happen if they uh, if they crash down. So, again, you're just reading your read defender. Here they're going to crash down. You see you got that tight end there to be able to secure that edge for Aaron Rodgers. Now, one other thing that I like to do is I typically will actually motion this guy over just to kind of keep it consistent if I want to. Again, it, it's kind of you know based on tendencies and all that stuff. But you can motion them over. Again, it's not the, it's not the auto motion. They're going to be able to tell that. Um, but what you'll see here is you actually get pretty good blocking, and again, you can get in. Now, again, you can do two things. You can quick snap them, or you can do the motion over up to you. Um, there could be an argument made as to why you do both of those uh, both of those tactics. But you see here, if they crash down, it's an automatic touchdown. There's nothing the defense is going to do, unless they user it, obviously. But um, And then if they don't, the thing is, if they don't crash down, right, you'll see here, um, they're not going to crash down. This this is actually very good at opening running lanes for your for your running back. So you have all these plays. And the last play I want to show you, this is for when they start to do things like run commit, right? It's a crazy to me that somebody would run commit out of this formation, but you'll be surprised. So this is run commit, and I just want to show you, obviously it's able to stop that fake jet pass power. But what you can do is you could go to something like this. You could go to your fake, um, you could go to your fake jet scene that you came out in right here this passing play and you have two quick reads that you're going to hit you're either going to hit the running back right here in the flap now right there that was great defense i don't know why he was able to jump that out of a run commit but he did but basically if they run commit you're going to hit your little your little um uh not your crossing route because that's going to be where their user is going to be but you're going to hit your little running back wheel so make sure you know the buttons beforehand that's going to be r1 so if i see everybody come up then i've got my running back right in the back of the end zone as you can see right there 
Now that running back is going to be good against man, against zone. Um, he's 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 not going to be good against like man if they pass commit. And we'll show you that real quick here. Um, this is man to man. You see see how he gets in the back of the end zone like that. Very very effective. A lot of the outside zones, and this is why this route combo is so good. Even though it's even though you can't hot route anything. Irving is going to pull the flat zones with him. So they're not going to be able to run flat zones. And the seam wheel is going to get in a really nice little spot in the in the back of the end zone, as you can see right there. Very smooth, very clean. Now, let's say they run something like a man-to-man -man coverage on you. Maybe they catch you off guard, and they run man-to-man -man coverage on you. What you'll notice about this play right here is this little quick route to the back, if I throw it quick, he'll actually beat man to the sideline, and you can get in right there. Uh, it's a little bit of a... Again, because of the crossings of this play and because of the way the play is going to work, especially if you know if people are going to run man-to-man, -man, they're oftentimes going to run. They're not going to run cover two man. They're going to run man blitz. Man blitz is going to be way worse against this because this route to the back, you'll notice. And again, I'm just going to get out of here, cancel that, get out of there and get the flat out to him. And you'd be surprised at how oftentimes you could just truck right in there and get in the end zone for the, for the touchdown. The other thing you can do against man-to-man, -man, and this is more for the guys that – um, don't have great user over the middle. Um, you'll notice right here this crossing route, passing that to the right, and oftentimes you can actually get that open against man to man in the back of the end zone. Your streak routes are not really an option. That's the one issue I have with this play. I wish you could hot route. If you could hot route and put them on smart run of curls, that would be perfect. But you'll notice in the back of the end zone, they don't really get open. Um, but this crossing route is going to go all the way across the back line of the end zone. So you can hit that as well. But like I said, man coverage is going to. It's going to give this the hardest time. If you see man to man, again, if they're blitzing heavy, which they most of the time will be, you're just if you see man, just throw it, um, just throw it to your little slot back or your little your your, your back as he's motioning uh, across the formation, and you'll be surprised at how consistently that is going to beat man to man coverage to the side right there. Just throw it, and again, again, this is going to take a little bit of practice. But what you need to do is you need to basically get out of that animation and get the ball to the back uh, as quick as possible. So maybe hitting like right trigger uh, and throwing it, getting out quick. Again, I high, you're, you're not going to pass a ton. Um, this is primarily a run. So if you see something like this, though, maybe you come out and maybe they're in nickel or they're in um, – you know, three, four odd or something, and you like the look to be able to audible down a goal line, you see here I can easily just audible right down the goal line and run my goal line scheme. Halfback dive, halfback split O, halfback power O are all in my arsenal. So something like this, right? So the defense is in nickel 335 wide. So what I would say is, okay, well, nickel 335 wide doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't do the best job at stopping power O. So I could go into this halfback split O, and you see I can run it right down, right down Main Street. Halfback split O, I think, is one of the most underrated runs because it's very difficult to shoot the run against the against this. Now you say, well, what if they run commit on you? Um, what if they what if they run commit on you once you go down the goal line? That's certainly a, a concern. Um, you can always audible back out of it, but you notice that was a run commit against halfback split O. Still not able to stop it for a couple yards. So that's just stuff that you need to think about. And obviously, if they run commit, um, this is where I really really like to use this doubles formation um, you'll notice if they run commit to try to stop jet touch pass you actually have a chance um, you know you actually you actually will be able to a lot of times get this jet touch pass to go uh, again as long as I'm clicking onto the right players and getting them in the right positions you'll see here's a run commit and that jet touch pass is untouched to the outside so if you start to see tendencies like that you can obviously counter it with that measure um, the other thing I really like about this is if they do run commit against the quarterback run, oftentimes it's not as um, it's it's not super consistent. You see the you see that the, the, there's potential for that run to get in, so there's some things that you can do uh, off of this off of this. But if you see something like this, this is quarter three deep. You know, you just catch them. You know, maybe you just like I said, you come out in the doubles, you see what they're doing. Now, if you catch them in a look, then go down to fullback dive. And um, even though he's a fast back, he's still going to work very fine for him. I mean, he's going to be very effective. So it's a very, very good little short yardage scheme that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, we've been doing this for a while out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook, and it's been very, very effective. So, again, the full Arizona playbook has passing plays, has full scheme uh, breakdown. Again, we show you how to get one play touchdown against every coverage. We show you routes. We show you uh, constraint theory plays, plays that are designed to help you. Um, we actually have a kind of a glitchy screen that you you can utilize out of the Arizona book as well. But all in all, guys, this formation 
pound for pound, one of the best goal line sets in Madden NFL 21. It's amazing this year. Um, I cannot stress enough how powerful it is, and I cannot stress enough how this right here is the number one reason we don't need eye formations in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Obviously, the playbook doesn't come with eye formations, and so you're you're forced to kind of use something like this. But I'm telling you right now, I would rather do this than run eye form tight any day of the week. This is very very effective as a running formation this year, and I highly encourage you to check it out to try it out for yourselves. You can do this out of the spread playbook as well. Um, I think you can also do this out of the Carolina Panthers playbook um, if you wanted to. But very very effective combination of plays that you can utilize in the red zone to be able to start to cap because the one thing that spread does a, doesn't always do a great job of is capitalizing and being able to score consistently in the red zone. With this combination of plays right here, you're going to be very, very effective at that. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Like I said, if you want to pick up the full scheme, we have over 125 pages. People have done have just really seen a lot of improvement in their offense and defense from the guide. You can pick that guide up. It's in the description of this video. Um, and then also, if you haven't joined our text message membership, we actually have a free gun cluster breakdown out of the same playbook that you can get 100% for free. Um, and it's in my text message membership. So if you text me, my number is 812-216-3644. I'll shoot you a link to that video as well as the rest of our text message membership playlist, which at this point I think has seven videos with over eight and a half hours worth of video content and breakdown showing you exactly uh, some of the best and most powerful schemes in Mad NFL 21. So great opportunity to take advantage of that. All you got to do is text me. My number's in the description. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. And our next Madden video, our next tip is going to be live at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time tonight. And then we will also be uh, live on YouTube uh, streaming this against Weekend League gameplay uh, tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We'd love to have you come hang out with us, talk Madden, and we'll answer any questions that you have. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown, and we'll see you on stream tonight on YouTube. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you.